Welcome to another Tech Tuesday video offered by the New Mexico Distance Education and Learning Technologies team, a project of Propel. This video will focus on the advanced Google Forms features, response validation, and conditional logic. Response validation allows you to force the responder to answer a question in a particular kind of way. This is especially useful when you are trying to make sure that your respondent gives you, for example, email addresses, phone numbers, or a particular length of response. To enable response validation within a Google Form, you want to go to your question and then click on the three dots on the bottom right corner of that question. The second option is response validation. When you click on that, you will choose the type of response validation you want. In this case, I want an email address, so I am going to click here on text, and you'll notice that it gives me an option where it says contains. I can choose an email address. Now, you can also set your custom error text. So you can either leave it blank and it will just give them an error, or you can customize it. Once you've done that, you can just click outside of it and it will be validated that way. If I go to my preview page, I will see that if I try to put in anything other than an email address, I will get that error message. The conditional logic feature allows you to skip specific questions depending on the respondent's answer. For example, if someone answers yes to a question, you can set it up so that the following question in the form is skipped and the respondent is taken to either the next relevant question or allowed to submit the form. This allows you to create more personalized forms and make it easier for people to fill them out. Creating conditional logic parameters requires a couple of steps in Google Forms. First, you want to make sure that you separate the questions that contain the conditional logic into sections. In this example, I want to know if the person who is attending the welcome reception has any dietary restrictions. However, if they are not attending the welcome reception, then it doesn't matter because I will not be providing food for that respondent. So I will go to the first question and then come over here to the right and click add section. Now I can come back to my first question, click on those three vertical dots, and now you can see the option to go to section based on answer. Here I can choose if they answer yes, they will continue to the next section. If they answer no, then they can submit the form. And as always with any Google form, you can make questions required. So to preview this, I can say yes, I am attending the welcome reception. And when I click next, it will give me the question asking for dietary restrictions. If I click no, it is going to allow me to submit the form. 